Mercedes-Benz has revealed the latest variant of its luxurious E-Class executive model. Intended to be previewed at the now-cancelled 2020 Geneva Motor Show, it's more of what we've grown used to for the E-Class facelift, that is to say, more tech and more luxury than ever before. There's also a new look Brihe new grille and light treatments, both front and rear, are more horizontal than vertical, giving the E-Class the same sort of flavor as its younger siblings. Redesigned lights are full LED as standard, with fancy multi-beam adaptive units, incorporating steroidal-sounding ultra-range high beam, available further up the range. NGING the E-Class more in line with Mercedes fresher models. There's plenty of chrome 4 and aft, a strip in the grille is mirrored by a chunky bar of the stuff on the boot lid. Piano black fills in the rest, including veins on the air intakes and splitters. As you'd expect, there's the latest MBUX operating system at the core of it all. It operates via two screens, either 10.25 inches or optionally 12.3 inches wide, arranged side by side under the same glossy enclosure to give a real widescreen experience. New finishes are available inside and out, too. Three new paint colors are as imaginative as you'd expect from a large German saloon. They're high-tech silver, Mojave silver, or graphite gray metallic. Inside it's slightly more exciting, with combinations of brown and beige available if you opt for the right trim levels. New for this year is a clever automatic driving position adjustment. Input your height on the infotainment display and the car will adjust the seat and wheel for you. New powertrains whether Australia gets the full lineup is uncertain but European markets will have petrol engines from 115 kilowatts to 270 kilowatts, and diesels from 118 kilowatts to 243 kilowatts. There's also a glut of emissions control systems fitted to both petrol and diesel engines. As for plug-in hybrids, the E300 E petrol and E300 de diesel will be carried over, though it's likely they'll be tweaked and potentially rebadged. Details are thin on the ground so far. New tech Mercedes-Benz was one of the first with semi-autonomous driving on the current E-Class, so it's added and improved it all for this facelifted model. First off is the fitment of capacitive sensors in the steering wheel. This detects touch, rather than pressure, so there'll be no need to keep twitching the steering in order to prevent the car yelling at you. Mercedes-Benz E-Class 2020 facelift autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection as standard, while the driving assistance package will add plenty of other goodies. Active Speed Limit Assist uses map data and traffic sign recognition to adjust the speed limiter appropriately and can also use the route in the sat-nav to adjust ahead of bends, intersections or slip roads. Red Next Mercedes-Benz E-Class Cabriolet Quick Review The adaptive cruise control will also use live traffic data to detect a tailback and reduce speed unless told otherwise. Once in said tailback, it'll drive the car at speeds of up to 50 km per hour, stopping and starting. Mercedes-Benz E-Class 2020 facelift blind spot monitoring is also available and works even when the car is switched off hopefully preventing the occupants from opening their doors into pedestrians or cyclists. Finally, there's Urban Guard, which is a vehicle protection system capable of tracking the vehicle and informing the owner of any potential theft or break-ins via their Mercedes app. The current generation of the BMW 5 Series, with both its body, limousine and touring versions, has been sold in over 600. 000 units worldwide. On the market from July 2020, this new 5 Series will be produced in both body versions in Bavaria at Dingolfing but also at Magna Stair in Graz, Austria. The long wheelbase version will be produced as before in China at BMW Brilliance Automotive at Dadong in Shenyang. Here's what you need to know about 5 2020. The grille has increased in size, the headlights, hood, wings and front spoiler are completely new. Daytime running lights have a small U shape and, depending on the optionally ordered headlights, an L shape. Full LED headlights with cornering function, BMW Selective Beam with high beam assistant with matrix technology are available as an option, 
LED headlights with high beam that beats 650 meters in front of the car are available as an option for all engine versions of the 5 Series facelift. In the rear we have redesigned tail lights and spoilers and all engine versions now have final exhaust with trapezoidal outlets. BMW announces new exterior colors and spectacular rims. BMW individual air performance wheels are very light and aerodynamic promises the manufacturer. A special edition called the M Sport Edition will be offered in a limited series of 1,000 copies globally. It has standard rims and Donington gray metallic body color. All BMW 5 Series models are now equipped with a 10.25-inch diagonal control display and an optional 12.3-inch will be available. From now on, automatic air conditioning is offered as standard for all versions. A redesigned sports steering wheel is also standard now. The 5 2020 series will be offered in many PHEV versions, 530e, limousine and touring, 530e X drive limousine and touring, offers a total of 292 horsepower and electric autonomy around 50 kilometers with a full battery. A new PHEV arrives in the range 545 EX drive sedan, 394 horsepower and the same range of about 50 kilometers in electric mode. All four and six cylinder versions are now mild hybrid, with 48 volts electrical system technology. The available conventional engines have between 184 and 340 horsepower on petrol and diesel and the top of the range 550 I will have 530 horsepower. In addition to the standard suspension, M Sport suspension, Adaptive M suspension and Adaptive M suspension professional with active stabilizer openers are offered. All engines have standard 8-speed automatic transmission. X-Drive is available for all engines except basic gasoline. The new integral active steering system is available as an option and works even below 3 km per hour newer. BMW announces new semi-autonomous functions for the 2025 series facelift. For example, the car will change lanes on the highway alone. BMW reversing assistant is available as an option. The drive recorder system records footage for up to 40 seconds through a camera located in the windshield, behind the rearview mirror and you can then output this video to USB to post it wherever you want. Optionally available system. A new over-the-air update system is also emerging, remote software upgrade.
Computer Science Lesson the year 1994 came with an important change for Audi fans. The Germans decided to change the names of the models, throwing some customers into a total confusion. Fortunately, the new A4, A6 and A8 managed to quickly establish themselves in the premium segment and continue to be seen as formidable rivals for the Mercedes and BMW models. The middle of the range, the current A6, had to take the place of the Audi 100 and keep its guard up in the duel with Mercedes E-Class and BMW 5 Series. Today, 28 years later, the Audi A6 has reached the fifth generation and reconfirms the Ingolstadt company's appetite for technology. The sound is quite well soundproofed and slightly boring. I would have liked a slight baritone gurgling beyond 3,000 rotations. But the Audi A6 is not about that. All six-cylinder engines, i.e. the 231 horsepower and the 286 horsepower, as well as the 340 horsepower gas station are associated with an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. It is a ZF gearbox with torque converter, well-layered, with a perfectly linear alternation of steps and a good response to downshifting. It seemed slightly better than the answer of the same box on the Volkswagen Touring. Sport mode helps you always stay at 2,500 revolutions per minute, i.e. in the maximum torque range and allows you to always be ready to attack, overtaking on a single lane road. And the 2.0-liter diesel engine has a good response box, but in his case we are talking about AS Tronic with double clutch and 7 gears. Advertising consumption to reduce the consumption of all engines launched with the A6, Audi has equipped the diesel and petrol units with a micro-hybrid system. That is, that mild hybrid that we began to see more and more often on Volkswagen Group models. It is not a hybrid per se. It's just a 48 volts electrical system, in the case of version 2.0 TDI a 12 volts electrical system, with a starter generator and a lithium-ion battery that can disconnect the conventional motor. However, the car cannot run electrically. According to Audi, the micro-hybrid system can stop the engine for 45 seconds at speeds between 55 and 160 km per hour, all thanks to the energy recovered and stored in the lithium-ion battery. The same micro-hybrid system can stop the engine at speeds below 22 km per hour, for example, when approaching a red light. All these fines should reduce the consumption of each version by 0.7 liters, 100 kilometers. In the case of the 286 horsepower V6 version, the route totaled almost 100 kilometers, with the same sections of highway and curved roads. Consumption was 9 liters, 100 kilometers. Completely irrelevant for a car that went longer in dynamic mode and had not jumped 2,000 kilometers since leaving the assembly line. In the data sheet, Audi promises an average consumption of 5.5 liters.